Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A modern Grand Prix racing car of mass small m is traveling on a flat track in a circular arc of radius capital R with a speed V if the coefficient of static friction between the tires and the track is mu s. Then the magnitude of negative lift FL acting downward on the car is here assume forces on the four tires are identical and G equal to acceleration due to gravity and here we have given four options M into bracket V square upon mu s r minus G option B minus M into bracket G plus V square upon mu s r and option C, V M into bracket V square upon mu s r plus G. Option D, M into bracket G minus V square upon mu s r. This question is based when any object which is moving leveled circular road. Okay. So here we have taken this car. Okay. And this frictional force acting between tire and the surface. Tire and the surface provide centripetal force. Means frictional force provide to the centripetal force mv square by capital R. Okay. It is the first equation. Now, we can see that here mg acting downward direction. Here another force according to the question. According to this question fl it is also acting downward direction and these two forces is equal to the normal force. It means normal force equal to mg plus fl. It is the second condition. Now you know that from the laws of friction fs upon n equal to mu. Okay, here mu is the friction coefficient then fs can be written as mu into n and fs equal to mu and what is the value of n? n is mg plus fl. It is the third equation. Now, this mu mg plus fl means frictional force is equal to centripetal force according to the first condition. Frictional force equal to centripetal force. Remember one thing. Centripetal force is not acting directly. It is in the form of another forces like the nuclear force, like the frictional force, like the tension force that provide to the centripetal force. So here centripetal force provide which force is cent uh, frictional force. So it is the frictional force Fs because Fs equal to mu into mg plus Fl is equal to mv square by r. Now according to the question is based on leveled circular path. Any object, any vehicle which is moving leveled circular path, then you know that the frictional force is acting between tire and the surface of the path. This frictional force is provide centripetal force. You know that centripetal is not getting directly. It is in the form of another forces like the nuclear force when electron is moving to the nuclear that nuclear force is acting towards this and this nuclear force provide to the centripetal force. When any stone is tied with the uh, string and another end with the, our finger and we have to be rotate, this tension force provide to the centripetal. So therefore any uh, satellite, any planet which is moving around the another planet, another satellite. So therefore that is gravitational force is acting on it. So like this centripetal is not getting directly. It is in the form of another forces. So it's here the frictional force provide to the centripetal. Is it clear? And mg acting downward direction, fl 
here another force lifting force is acting downward direction so mg and fl acting downward direction and normal force acting upward direction so it means normal force equal to mg plus fl okay this is the first equation this is the second equation and according to the laws of friction fs upon normal force equal to mu here mu is the friction coefficient then fs means friction force equal to mu into n and what is the uh, n and from the second equation mg plus fl it is value of n so now as we know that friction force is directly centripetal force from the first equation then what is the value of fs mu into bracket mg plus fl equal to mv square by r now mg plus fl equal to mv square mu r then uh, mg is transposing to the right side now it become minus mg and fl equal to here m get common v square upon mu s okay mu s the friction coefficient v square by mu s r minus g okay so it is the answer and we can see that it is the first option is correct m into bracket v square mu s r minus g i hope so you understood this problem thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video and i know that very well you are working very hard and if i will be a part of your success journey that it will be my pleasure but when more and more student will join with your success journey then it will be very great things thank you once again take care